Okay, what is our predictions? Negative or positive? What's wrong, buddy? You breathe what in your it? nose and out your mouth. Positive. positive. Seriously? Yep. What is happening here? Are you breaking the law by sending pizza to someone else's house? She found a rag on the floor with dog poop on it. So our truck is ready. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Come on, let's go. You ready? Do you know where we're going? To go and get our get tested. Yep, let's go. We have to leave in five minutes, boys. Good morning. Come on, girls. Time to get up. This morning, I kept having dreams about exercising, and I couldn't sleep past six, and so I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get up and exercise. And I did almost the full exercise. There were a few minutes left at the end, but I had to come get everyone up so we can get ready to go, so. I was able to exercise for 35 minutes today and I feel pretty good. I, my sinuses are still a little clogged, but they don't feel terrible. I don't feel like totally run down and worn out. So I hope I'm on the mend. What about you, Lou? How do you feel? Tired? Sick? That's good. What about you, our newest COVID patient? How do you feel? You're fine? Sweet. Okay, what is our predictions? Negative or positive? <laughs> positive. I think I'm negative, but I don't know. Do you go? Negative. What about you, Az? Negative. You think your COVID is over? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going with negative. Good vibes, negative vibes. What's wrong, buddy? You breathe well, in your nose and out your mouth. <laughs> oh, dude. Are you okay? Yeah. I don't know what happened. Good, I are you? Like... I think that I got the girl that we weren't very, that I wasn't very nice to last week. Oh, really? Was she like sticking she it all the way up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Asking questions, very like very aggressive with them. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna get you back, like, sir. <laughs> I, think, I think it was her. I think Wait, it was that first girl her? that we were like, just because I was, we were like, what the crap? Your system is messed up, and she was not having a good day, and it just wasn't. Yeah, frustrated. Yeah. Remember, we were asking. I was just, I was just very, like, clear, saying this isn't cool that we ordered the thing, and and you're kicking us out of here. But he was frustrated with I, the system, yeah. but it wasn't her fault. It wasn't but her fault. it fell on her. Yeah, I just wasn't very nice to her, and she made sure today that I paid for it. <laughs> I'll just take it. I deserve it, I guess. How do you feel, Laz? Awesome. You don't feel like throwing up anymore? No. So do you think maybe you just got a little nervous and you felt like you were going to throw up? No, I wasn't feeling nervous at the time. It just, just for some reason. Going up that hill and driving around up there made me want to throw up, too. I, Maybe that's what it is. Car sickness, because I haven't eaten anything, and that made me really sick to drive up there. So uh, that might be up what there, happened to you. My ears were popping because I actually learned about it in science that so, like higher elevation has like higher pressure. That's right. Yep, you're right. My results are ready. Really? Yeah. Okay, what is it? Positive. Really? Yes. Oh, Dad's positive. I'm still positive. Pretty positive, she looked for that positive pretty hard too. <laughs> That's right, I deserved it from the other day. Wasn't nice to him. I texted the dealership and said, hey, sorry, I'm still positive. I can't, I can't switch out the trucks. And he was like, he called me and he's like, he's like, it's not a problem. Take the keys, come on here, park next to it. He said, I'll have it sitting out there with the keys and everything in it. You take your keys, leave them in the truck, don't worry about washing it, he says, because we'll go through and fumigate, is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said they have a process that they go through now to, to make to sure that, it. yeah, to clean mm -hmm. the trucks. He said they do it anyway, no matter what. He said, so don't even worry about cleaning or anything. He said, just bring it and set this your this truck here, the borrowed truck or whatever, and pick up your truck so our truck is ready. <laughs> okay. Anyway, switching it out. The borrowed truck is 
is now going to be the park truck. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. It's like the same one. Oh, two, two, three. Paz is already on it. <laughs> oh, that is the same color of this. It's really close, huh? Yeah, they're close. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty. It's that pretty blue. And it has the blacked out wheels. It should have the red hooks on the front. I don't think it has any on the back. Are they on it? Yeah. It doesn't have running boards, so we have to get running boards, Sarah. Yeah. It does not have running boards. No running boards? What the? I know, I know. Why? This Black. needs to be brighter red, though. You think? Yeah, look at oh, the Oh, just because that is? Yeah, we might have to do something like that, huh? Rex actually told me about this truck, what, four months ago? Yes. He said, go down and check this thing out. I went down and checked it out, and they're like, yeah, that's uh, on our site, but we don't have that truck yet. They said it's in uh, quality control right now, and so, and so <laughs> we've waited for this thing since that point, and uh, so we had the loaner until that until that point. And there's the there it is. So the cool thing about this is the AT4, H AT4, which means it has the nicer interior package and the blacked out package. What do you think? It's nice. This is way deeper than the other one. Yeah, it is. Huh? It has yeah. a little more room. How's the room back there? It's really great. Good. Look how wore out these things were. Pretty wore out. All new parts, brushes. There's the filter in there. And there's the new thing here. Let's see how she works. Is it gonna work? Hey, that's working. Good. My results are positive. Seriously? Yep, positive. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we only had this for like six days. Now. I know. Okay, let's see. So day six and uh, two of us are positive. We knew the reason why we were checking, the biggest reason why we were checking is just to, to see really how quickly this thing can be, can go into negative state after having it. We're still gonna quarantine. We're still staying away from people and all those things, but. Okay, Lizzie's mm -hmm. is. Negative! Are you serious? Yay, Lizzie's negative! Wow. Okay, so maybe Good it's job. day seven. Yeah. Asbury is negative! Oh, yes! Woohoo! Okay. He goes negative too. Canyon is positive. What? You're positive. And you can I was gonna tease and say positive, and it's really positive. <laughs> Okay, so we probably have two more days before it's all negative, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, so we uh, we might go and get tested. We won't get, get tested tomorrow. We'll give it a few more days before we get tested. Again, we're still going to stay in, stay away from people, and just kind of keep doing our same thing. But we're all feeling so much better. I feel like a, a real person today, a real human. So that's good. I too. I got to exercise. Sarah got off an exercise this morning. And uh, I, I mean, look at this. My hair's combed, I shaved, like I feel like a real human. And uh, when I say real human, I mean, I just feel, I feel like myself. Anyway, we'll just start cleaning and uh, disinfecting everything over the next day or two and uh, get our family back together. Don't mind me, I'll get all the groceries for <laughs> Since we tested positive again, we needed some more groceries. Not a ton, just to keep us sustained and alive and not so bored. And so, Costco delivery is the best. So great, I love it so much. What is happening here? I think some dude just came to the door and he's like, it's right there on the fridge, I'm like, what? And I look and it's the pizza. I'm like, oh, thank you. And then I'm like, wait, well, I better check and make sure the Branson Tannerites. What, what is he up to, Savannah? What is he doing? They're doing a hundred, breaking a hundred laws in, in a day. 
What well, law? <laughs> you can. The law is you cannot send pizza to COVID victims. So we need to get a hold of him. Are we breaking the law by having pizza twice in a row? Are you breaking the law by sending pizza to someone else's house? What law are you breaking here? Uh, yeah, because <laughs> in where was it? Conne Connecticut? Somewhere it is illegal. You can get fined up to $100 for sending pizza without the person knowing that they're getting pizza. Oh, wow. Whoa. I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> It is Batman pizza. It's the Batman pizza? It is Batman pizza. Okay, so the box does say Batman on it. The Batman, not Batman, the Batman. Okay, here we go. What? Whoa. Are you serious right now? Whoa. The pizza is shaped like Batman. <laughs> Holy cow. That's cool. That is way cool. So it's it's cut and wrapped up around and wrapped up. These guys are smart. Yeah, they are. That is clever. Batwing? As gets the bat wing. Yeah. Bat wing? Canyon gets the bat body. I would not want a bat body. There you go. So this is the COVID team. This is team COVID. COVID team. Except for Asbury and except for Lizzie. But they've been hanging out with us for days, so we're just like, let's just keep it as is. I'm about to share with you something gross. But hey, it's the end of the video. So if you want to click out of it, go for it. <laughs> it's a part of, part of our life right now, so I want to share it. This bathroom right here is our guest bathroom, and uh, we don't use it very often. Well, as you may or may not know uh, from yesterday's video or the day before, Charlie had a ugh, nasty, left a nasty mess in the girl's bedroom. Um, he had diarrhea and it was everywhere, and uh, I'm hoping it didn't ruin the carpet. And so last night we were like, okay, let's bring him in tonight, but not put him in the girl's room with them. Obviously they weren't in the girl, their room, they had to sleep somewhere else because they're getting their carpet cleaned tomorrow because COVID and we wanted to make sure that nobody came in here during all that. So we, I put him in the bathroom. I put Grizz's candle in the bathroom, I put Charlie in the bathroom and I took the towels off the rack and I pulled them down and I put them up on the counters, the countertop. And I put Charlie's bed in the, in the bathroom. So he had everything, he laid down, everything was good. Well, Sarah went in there this morning to let the Charlie out and she found a rag on the floor with dog poop on it. So she just said, you know, I'm just gonna chuck it in the garbage. So I just shoot through it in the garbage. And she's like, did you know? She came to me, she said, you know, Charlie pooped in there. I'm like, oh my goodness. She's like, I don't know how he did it though because it was in the corner and I don't even know how he fit over there. Like, it doesn't even make sense. It was like underneath the counter, like all weird. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So I went in the counter in the bathroom later to take the stuff out, you know, the kennel and all the other things. And I look on the counter and there is a little brown piece in a balled up towel on the counter, two towels. I open it up and it is big. On the counter, he had pooped on <laughs> the towel on the counter. And so I told Sarah, and so obviously what had happened is Charlie had jumped up on the counter and went to the bathroom on the towels and part of it went down onto the floor. When he got off the counter, he must have kicked the towels into a bunch. Anyway, our fault though, totally our fault. We locked him into an area where he couldn't get out and we fed him late last night. Well, we didn't make that mistake tonight. so. We're gonna try it one more time because the girls are not in their room uh, still and uh, that's the best place for him to keep him warm at night and safe and everything's fine except for when he needed to go to the bathroom. So we are not allowing him <laughs> to eat late <laughs> when he's staying in. Usually wake Danielle up so it's not a big deal if she takes him out. But Danielle's not here. She's at rule number one. So that's the gross story that I'm not showing you anything of because that would be gross. I was thinking about the one bad thing when COVID is over, when our quarantine or a sickness or whatever, and we can do things again, is that I'm going to have to get ready to do no, things you don't. again. No, you don't. Whatever. I look like Hagatha right now. You do not look like Hagatha. Yes, I do. I'm not going to go out with my hair looking like this and no makeup. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not saying you have to. Unless we're in Hawaii. <laughs> One hard part is that outside forces start becoming real again. And I mean, we haven't seen Allie and Danielle like at all. I know. Finally got to see Savannah again. Haven't seen Branson tomorrow, but we have FaceTime and the other stuff that we've been using. But the little kids, like we've had them all to ourselves. I know, but I miss, the, I miss our family. I know, we'll be together again. 
And then we're gonna be broken apart. Let's not talk about it right now. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be hard enough as it is. It is gonna be hard. I think COVID has, like I don't feel really sick. I like it felt really good to work out this morning, but I feel overly stimulated quickly. Like Johnny just said, this, he's like, you can be fine and five minutes later, you're like done. And usually I don't get there that quickly. No, she's usually really patient. So I think I'm like, this has made me overly stimulated. And so I'm just like, I feel it with Canyon for sure. With schoolwork. <sighs> well, thank you guys for all of your love and concern and support. Always. We really feel it and appreciate it. And we love you. And we want you to always remember that you are, you are worth, worth it. it. Bye guys.